Well, this breaking input is coming in from the United States where also the election season is on and Trump has won the North Carolina Republican primary uh, round and he's taken early lead over Nikki Haley. So these are the latest inputs that we are getting in. The result for the Super Tuesday is out and Trump has won the North Carolina Republican in the primary phases. He's taken early lead over Nikki Haley. So these are the latest inputs that we are getting on the U.S presidential race. Uh, Trump has won from North Carolina. So now joining us on the broadcast is our colleague Sanjay Suri. A very good morning, Sanjay. Uh, results for Super Tuesday is out. Trump has won in South Carolina. What could it mean for his chances in November? Well, the avalanche has begun and he's clearly on his way to nomination. He's won North Carolina. He's won Virginia. Uh, we are getting reports that he's taken an unbeatable lead in Oklahoma, mm -hmm. in Tennessee. So it's all rolling in as anticipated and as predicted. Trump really is on his way right here to White House, it would seem, because past all this, and we're already past the uh, near certainty of the uh, uh, Super Tuesday results in the primaries. Past this, he also has a lead over Biden in the runoff between the two. And it would seem that the uh, Trump uh, bandwagon is rolling steadily this way. Right, Sanjay, help us also understand uh, how are uh, the results for the Super Tuesday going to be crucial for both Republicans and Democrats in the, up, uh, in the upcoming run-up to the U.S. presidential elections, which is going to be held in November? Well, with Democrats, there's not really an issue. There's not been any serious challenger to Joe Biden. There is one in name only. And uh, through Super Tuesday, uh, Joe Biden has duly won in Vermont and uh, all the other primaries where um, the votes have been cast. So there is not an issue about who is going to be the nominee for the Democrats. It certainly is going to be Joe Biden. But the issue has been with the Republicans, where Nikki Haley's challenge appears to be fading away and fading away fast. So far, we've had a number of uh, primaries six uh, states uh, starting, of course, uh, in January. And all of those primaries, and we've had a great deal of discussion on them, add up between them to only 11% of the vote. Super Tuesday takes that total right up to 47% of the vote. So that's a very substantial number of decisions that will come by the end of the day. And really, we are not quite waiting for the end of the day already. What we are seeing mm -hmm. is this Trump avalanche on its way. This had been uh, anticipated. It was a foregone conclusion almost. And we are getting confirmation of that, that Trump will be in and Haley out. All right, Sanjay, for a better context for our uh, viewers, well, uh, it is a big win uh, for uh, Donald Trump. And he's won in North Carolina, taking up a solid lead ahead of Nikki Haley.